I hope it's sunny in Paraguay. It's been snowing here in England. We have a question, what is water made of? And that's a great question. You may be aware that the chemical formula for water is H2O. But what does this really mean? We're going to explain this by using an example of a cup of water. And this is just normal water, the same water that we drink. And we're going to imagine that we can zoom in and look at water on the tiniest scale, much smaller than even the best optical microscopes can do. So let's have a look at what water would look like if we could see it on the very smallest scale. If we could zoom right in on water and see the thing it's made up of, we'd find it's made up of water molecules. And the water molecules are made of an oxygen atom joined to two hydrogen atoms. A molecule is just a group of atoms chemically joined together. And notice how these water molecules are pretty close together because the water is in the liquid state. We're just going to cram lots of these molecules in so you can see them all kind of close together. So remember, a water molecule is a group of atoms and it contains one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So when we say water is H2O, the two refers to the chemical element before it. And before it is an H, which is for hydrogen. So we've got two hydrogen atoms. And the O doesn't have any number after it. That means we just have one oxygen atom. And that's how you understand these chemical formulae. They tell us how many atoms we have in different elements or compounds. Now, there's loads of water molecules. So for example, in 18 centimeters cubed of water, we have 6 times 10 to the power of 23 water molecules. That's a huge number. It's six with 23 zeros after it. And another thing to know about water is that the molecules will always be moving around. They're not still. They jiggle around and they budge past each other and they're, they're mobile. And that's why water is a liquid flow as we can pour it because the molecules can budge past each other. They have energy. And if we heat water up using a flame, we give the molecules more energy and they begin to move faster and faster and faster. They begin to jiggle past each other faster until water gets to 100 degrees Celsius, its boiling point, and we see bubbles appearing. Now those bubbles contain liquid water or steam. Steam is still water. It's still made up of H2O molecules. And the H2O molecules escape from the surface of the water and go into the atmosphere. But notice the two hydrogen atoms are still joined to the oxygen atom. The water molecule itself hasn't broken apart. All that's happened is it's been separated from its neighbors. So steam, or gaseous water, is still water. So it still has a formula H2O.